Good evening, good evening, guys. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Are you there? Good evening. Good evening. Hi there. Good evening, guys. Hi, uh, guys. Happy Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining. It's really nice uh, to see you one more day. How you doing? Camila, good evening. Great to see you. Davey, thank you for joining. Really nice to see you too. Hi, Debra. Hello, good evening, teacher. I'm David. Hi, guys. Great to hear you, David. Griselda, good evening. Isaías, how you doing? Creo que escuché a Yvette there. Good evening, guys. Uh, Javier, Lupita, Suleima, how are you? Is everything okay? Are you having a good day? Nice to see you back, Camilo. <laughs> Hi, Manuel, good evening. Great to see you, thank you. Uh, for joining. So guys, uh, welcome. It's really nice to he have you one more day, right? Um, and especially because today, estamos terminando la unidad número uno. We are finishing today unit number one. So vamos a trabajar un poquito con el review de la unidad. Vamos a revisar uh, general things eh, del módulo uno y dos que se nos han quedado todavía pendientes, right? Vamos a revisar ya la introducción de pasado. So we're going to start working with that a little. Pero más que todo, guys, vamos a trabajar con speaking, uh, intentando recordarnos vocabulario from the previous module y un poquito de listening. So vamos a intentar incorporar a little bit of listening para que cada uno eh, vaya a su ritmo también, pero sin dejar de lado eh, the importance of listening, right? So welcome guys, it's super genial tenerlos. It's a really nice um, thing to have you today. And uh, let's get started with the session for today. Uh, people, uh, are you having a good day? Tuvieron un buen día? Uh, is your Tuesday going okay? Llegaron temprano a sus casas? Did you get early to your houses? Maybe, so, so, probably. Yes, I did. Yes, okay, okay. Great to hear that. Oh, okay, guys. So we're gonna like get started with this. And guys, to start the session, les tengo un pequeño ejercicio por acá. Uh, but I have a question for you. Um, ¿Alguna vez han jugado quién quiere ser millonario? Have you ever done who wants to be a millionaire? No, no. never. I only saw. Okay. Okay. So, uh, les explico. No sé si han jugado alguna vez um, this game, right? But, uh, ¿quién quiere ser millonario or who wants to be a millionaire? It's the game. Es como una especie de trivia. So, a trivia solamente son preguntas. There are just questions. So, les voy a hacer un par de preguntas, right? Y si están en la respuesta, eh, pueden activarla. You can say the answer. Or eh, you can uh, type it. Or you can just open your microphone, right? So, es bastante rápido. It's kind of fast. Um, okay, thank you, Griselda. I hope everything goes well. For example, guys, if I tell you, um, what is the name of, oh my God, let me think about something easy. What is the name of, that's too difficult. I don't know, Leonardo DiCaprio in the movie Titanic. Yeah. Ah, ok, exactly. So vamos a trabajar un poquito de general knowledge y también um, listening, right? Para ver si podemos entender las preguntas. Just to make sure that we understand the questions. La idea no es que busquen la respuesta en Google, pero sin embargo si pueden buscar el vocabulario, si hay una palabra that you don't understand. Eh, si hay algo que no está seguro, let me know. 
y lo revisamos. Ok, guys, so let's get started. Again, si saben la respuesta, open your mic or, eh, or type it o escríbanla en el chat en, y acá nos cae igual la confirmación que ustedes han escrito, right? So, guys, let's get started uh, with the beginning of the session that is a trivia. So, it says, listen to the description and say or write the correct answer. So, let's get started. Number one, guys, this is about animals. Comenzamos con categoría de animales. Number one, what is the fastest land animal? What is the fastest land animal? Cheetah? Yes, okay, very good. So one point for Javier. Okay, that was nice. Okay, uh, guys, question two. Again, si saben la respuesta, activen el micrófono, right? Activate your microphone, please. Question two, guys. How many, se recuerdan el significado de how many? Cuantos? Yes. Okay, very good. So the question is, how many legs does a butterfly have? How many legs does a butterfly have? Butterfly have six. Yeah, very good, exactly. So the butterfly has six legs, okay. Good, David one point, Javier one point. Guys, accumulate some. Next. Um, okay. Good evening, Miss. Hi, hi, Mr. Castaneda, good evening. Great to have you. Okay, next one, guys. Um, this is easy. What is the largest animal in the planet? Giraffe. Mm, no. Uh, ballena. Uh, how do you say ballena in English? In English, please. The whale. Uh, okay, but sí, pero no. I mean, yeah, but no. It's a super cerca, but hay un tipo especial. There is a very specific name. Orca. <laughs> no. Guys, the blue gray. Yeah, the blue whale, exactly. So the blue whale is the largest animal in the world or in the planet. And it's bigger than the elephant, bigger than any other animal. Si nunca lo han visto, eh, go to National Geographic and you can see some videos. It's enorme, it's so big. Okay, so one point for Mr. Castaneda, or well, medio con eh, Manuel there. <laughs> okay, that was super close, but that was nice. Next. Okay, let's go with, vamos a comida, guys. Let's go with um, food. Okay. Mm, easy. Which country does pizza and pasta come from? Italian. Italian. Yes. But the, but the country? Italian is the nationality in the country? Italy. Yes, very good. Thank you, David. Well, mitad y mitad con Javier. That was close. <laughs> okay. Uh, you kind of help each other. Next one. Oh, let me see. Okay. Let's go with geography, guys. What is bigger? A lake? Or an ocean. What is bigger? ¿Cuál es más grande? What is bigger? A lake or an ocean? The an ocean. Yes, that is right. An ocean is bigger. Okay. Very nice. You got it. Let me see. Next one. Creo que está difícil. I think this is difficult. Si alguien la sabe, guys, activate your microphone or escriban la type it in the chat. What is the capital of Norway? What is the capital of Norway? Norway is the country, right? Like Noruega, what's the capital for Norway? Is Nobody? 
It's difficult. Too difficult, boys, girls. No hemos escuchado ninguna chica todavía. Come on, girls. Women power. Where are you? It's Oslo. Yeah. Oslo, yes. Very good. Yes, Jorge. Very nice. That's Oslo. Quick question, Jorge. ¿Le ayudaron? <laughs> ¿O lo sabía? No, teacher. Uh, yo he viajado Google. a Europa. Ah. Oh, yeah. you have to tell us about it. Amazing. Yes, yeah, that probably. was uh, Oslo. Very nice. Okay. Next one, guys. Um, Let's see. 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 Let's see that is start with letter R. Tell Russia. me three countries. Okay, Russia, one. Um, uh, okay, guys, <laughs> Javier ya vio, you do el empujoncito. If you have it, say it. Republica <laughs> Checa. Deborah? Republica Checa. In English. Uh, but but yeah, but it has to be like the beginning. Yeah, Republica Checa. But that would be the Shrek Republic, so uh, that, that doesn't work. Cambia el orden, the order changes. Three guys, three with R. So ya nos dijeron Russia, we need just two more. Roma, Romania, teacher, I don't know. Okay, Romania, say. yes. So Russia, Romania, and? Russia, Russia. Yeah, but Russia, Romania, tenemos dos todavía, guys. <laughs> one more, one more. China. Mm, but it has to begin with R. Que inicie con la letra R. It has to begin with R. So, Russia. I am, I am speechless. Uh, it's, why? So, Russia, uh, Romania, from, and? Rum. Well, but Rome is from Italy. Peter so, and Rome. Yeah, capital. UK, teacher. Uh, but UK, that's not really going there. Debe iniciar con la R. It has to begin with R. Yeah. So, oh, good la job la with Rome. Oh, Which con one? la R in English. Yes, Next in English. Question. Everybody. <laughs> okay, I'll give you one. So Russia, Romania, good job with that. Uh, and we have Rwanda. So that's another country that goes with R as well. Rome, creería que no se considera ciudad, pero la que sí se considera ciudad es el Vatican, the Vatican City. I don't know why, you know, but uh, for some reason in geografía is considered another country. Okay, guys. Uh, Next one. Ah, this is a fácil. This is easy. How many letters are there in the English alphabet? How mm. many letters does the English alphabet have? 27. 27, no? Wow. 26. 26. Yes, 26. that's right. 26, exactly. Remember, <laughs> no hay ña, right? We don't have that letter. Okay, very good. Next one. Um, okay, this is difficult. Guys, ¿sabes de música? Do you know about music? So so. So so. And the rest? A little. Let's go over another one then. Okay. Um, let me. No, but these are too easy. Okay, okay. This is easy. Which is the biggest planet in our solar system? Which is the biggest planet in our solar system? I guess Saturn. Saturn? No, that's not the answer. Which is? Give it a try. Intentalo, guys. Give it a try. Give it a try. Which, Which is the biggest planet in the solar system? Uh. Okay. Saturn. 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 David mentioned Saturn, but no, it is not. Uh, Jupiter. Jupiter. Yes, that's Jupiter. Yeah, exactly. That is Jupiter. Close. Very close. <coughs> Next one. Um, 
where does the paper come from? Where does paper come from? Paper. Mm -hmm. Where does paper come from? ¿De dónde se saca el papel? Where does paper mm. come from? The the, yes, the, the trees. Tree. Exactly, that is the trees. That's the one. Okay, guys. And the last question. Let me see something very easy. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Who is have you ever seen the Simpsons? Yeah. yeah. What is the name of Homer's boss? Yeah. Mr. Burns. My yeah. Very good. Good job. Okay, that's Mr. Burns. Very nice job, guys. So you're good at this. Solo en geografía, we need to work a little more. But very nice. That was actually very, very good. So, uh, taking a look at these questions, ahora vamos a practicar también preguntas, right? Vamos a revisar do and does questions a little bit, but I wanted to get started with this part. Vamos a revisar el día de ayer, si se recuerdan, vimos bastante vocabulario. So, estábamos trabajando con personality descriptors, eh, adjectives, right? Y estuvimos describiendo personality. So today, vamos solamente a um, uh, revisar. We're going to go over them. Just to make sure we remember them, we learn them, and we are ready to talk about them. So take a look at the following. Um, here we have like the same personality adjectives a que veíamos ayer. So guys, solamente ayúdenme con alguno de ellos eh, to check si todavía se recuerdan what we said yesterday. Guys, what is the meaning of the word greedy? What was that? Lo veíamos el día de ayer. Anybody remembers? What is Avaro. greedy? Avaro. Avaro. Very good. Now, what is the opposite for shy? What is the opposite? ¿Qué sería lo opuesto? What's the opposite for shy? Funny. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that works too. Mm -hmm. So remember, shy is a person who doesn't talk much. Okay. Next one. Easy going. What is the opposite of easy going? This um, one, easy happy. going. Mm, okay, happy. Yeah, it can be. Happy. What else? Get easy going, guys. What is the meaning of this word? Happy for. Uh, bueno. Okay, exactly. Alguien tranquilo, pero alguien que se lleva bien con todo el mundo, right? Llevadero, buena onda, cool. Okay, so easy going. So, ¿qué sería lo opuesto? What do you think can be the opposite? Somebody said, um, mm -hmm. moody. Yeah, it can be so moody, right? Alguien muy temperamental. Yes, that can be. Any other? Bad temper. Bad temper, yeah, that can also work. So bad temper as well. Now, what about a annoying? What is the meaning of annoying? Do you remember? I remember uh, Debra, I think she said, loud people is annoying. Yes, Carla? Alguien molesto, decir. Yes, exactly. Pero no en el sentido de um, alguien enojado, right? Sino en el sentido que a mí me hace enojar. <laughs> so, annoying is a person, an activity, o algo que nos incomoda. Sí, alguien right? incómodo. Uh -huh. right. Exactly. Pero no que la persona se sienta that way, sino que haga a los demás, right? So, like, somebody, uh, okay, for me, for example, I don't like cats. So, para mí, los gatos son molestos. Cats are annoying. 
Um, guys, ¿qué es molesto para ustedes? Probably loud people, probably reggaeton. What is annoying? ¿Qué es algo que les molesta, que les incomoda? Annoying? ¿Cómo se dice ruido? Noise. So the noise. ¿Todos los ruidos? ¿Any type of noise? Es que hay un uh, noise. Uh, Okay, so loud. Okay, loud noises. So we can use the word loud. For example, loud music, loud noises, loud people, right? So loud is como con el volumen alto, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so loud, so noises. Okay. Guys, what about the rest? ¿Qué es algo molesto para ustedes? What is annoying? You know, something that is annoying for me son el sonido de motocicletas con el muffler abierto, liberado, you know? So the free muffler in a motorcycle. That is so annoying. I don't really like it. So, uh, and ¿qué otra palabra revisábamos? Oh, and revisábamos yesterday too, la palabra sensible, que decíamos que no es sensible. What is the meaning of sensible, guys? Sensato. Sensato, correct. Alguien con los pies en la tierra, right? So look at it. Talk about a family member and describe their personality. So guys, uh, really quick, uh, escojamos a un miembro de su familia, any person from your family. Si lo quieren escribir, it's okay. Pueden escribir eh, cómo es, personality, physical description, lo que ustedes le quieran agregar, that is perfect. So, um, Ord. Oh, and guys, solamente siempre para hablar de alguien, normalmente utilizamos algunas expresiones de introducción. Podemos utilizar today, let me talk about, sorry. So let me talk about, for example, quiero hablar de mi sobrino. Let me talk about my nephew. Or de mi hijo, de mi hija. Let me talk about my son. Let me talk about my daughter. So let me talk es como, les voy a hablar, déjenme o permítanme hablarles, contarles de, right? So let me talk about my nephew. Um, his name is, her name is, she is. Um, and then you talk about personality. Podemos agregar lo que les gusta, lo que no les gusta, and anything that you can include. Guys, eh, si lo quieren escribir, I'll, I'll give you five minutes para que lo puedan escribir, organizar las ideas, buscar cómo decir algunas cosas. Si consideran que no necesitan escribirlo, mejor todavía, even better. My recommendation siempre es seleccionen las palabras, pero no escriban qué es lo que van a decir. No escriban la oración, sino solamente la palabra. Y al momento de estarlo contando, intente ir armándola um, como en el aire, right? como en el cerebro. Um, remember that gramática es solamente repetición. Entonces, yo puedo decirle, me toca about my nephew. He is, y todo se va con is. He is very friendly. He talks a lot. He has a lot of friends. And he loves animals. He is very polite. And he's a little shy sometimes. So, estoy utilizando módulo one, módulo two, nada nuevo, right? Um, so, guys, please no, no utilicen el Google Translator para escribir todo en español y luego que les dé qué es lo que van a decir. That is not the idea. Sino que ustedes lo vayan armando en pedacitos, right? So, you can simply say, uh, pueden agregarle that, like he is, uh, and then years old, his name is, Um, personality, frequency, adverbs, always, never, sometimes, todo lo que puedan, guys, tenemos cinco minutos, and then vamos a, a practicarlo, right, tenemos hasta las y media, si tienen dudas, let me know, si se les ha olvidado cómo se organizan las ideas, let me know, or how to say something, y lo hacemos juntos, no problem, eh, cinco minutos, guys.
Let me know, guys, if you need some help, please. One more minute, guys.
Guys, do you need some help? Do you have any question? Are you all right? So remember, it can be any person from your family uh, or a friend. I mean, that's totally fine. The idea is to practice third person, uh, personality, physical description, and everything you have studied so far. Um, any question? No, miss. Did you finish it? Ya lo terminaron? Do you need more time? Yes, miss. Wow, oh, that was cool. Guys, what about the rest? Did you finish? Yes. Oh, okay. So, no, no doubts, no questions. Guys, me preocupa que no tengan dudas. <laughs> I'm kind of concerned that you don't have any questions. Ya le voy a empezar a preguntar en that case. All right, guys, so uh, let's get started. Eh, vamos primero a practicar un poquito. We're going to practice that. Eh, de ser posible, guys, si la han escrito, cierren su cuaderno, close your notebook. Intenten decir lo que recuerden, right? Vean, vean un, eh, de reojo and try to talk about it. Because la idea, guys, no es eh, leerlo. La idea es poder contarlo, which is um, sin cuaderno, right? Without using your notebook. So uh, let's go ahead and, and let's start practicing it. Eh, intente no leerlo, try not to read it. Intente como le salga, si le sale bien, it's okay. Si cometen errores, está bien. Remember, the idea is to remember and refresh a lot of things. So tenemos cinco minutos. Vamos a ir a los grupos eh, really quick. Solamente vamos a practicar eh, some minutes. And then I'm gonna uh, have some victims or some volunteers like to come up, right? So, vámonos, guys. Let's go. Cinco minutos solamente. Try to talk about your person. Go, please. Let's go to the groups. They are um, available already. Ya están listas, guys. You can go, you can join. Hello. hello, hello. Hi, can you hear me? Me lo voy a escuchar. Hola, teacher. Hola, good evening. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? How are you? ¿Verdad que acaba de ingresar? Eduardo. Hola, teacher. Hola, hola. ¿Me lo voy a escuchar? Sí, hoy sí. Okay. Es que tengo problemas con el internet. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Pero Eduardo logró eh, escribir ya la descripción de su, el miembro de su familia. Ah, eso ahí va, Ticho. Me voy a escribir a un miembro de la familia. Yes, you're going to describe a family member. ¿Todavía no lo ha terminado? No, Ticho. Vaya, bueno, hagamos lo siguiente. Por las dificultades con el internet, eh, le voy a dar un tiempito para que la termine de escribir. Right, so finish writing it. And cuando esté listo, porque no es mucho lo que va a agregar, la intención es que eh, lo hagamos más, eh, más fácil, right? Solamente escoja el miembro de su familia, escoja qué adjetivos le aplican, right? Eh, re, revisa sus notas, eh, puede agregar he likes, she likes, or she doesn't like, he doesn't like, cualquiera de las dos, right? Solo es una persona. And, and then me lo cuenta. Solo le voy a dar unos dos minutitos. I'll give you two minutes. Okay. 
para que lo escriba. Um, okay. But of course, eh, la idea es que no lo lea. So, escríbelo para que usted se pueda recordar, right? Ok, voy a intentar hacerlo. Perfect, nice. Eh, Avísame yeah. si tiene dificultades or if you have some problems with the description. Eh, Isaías está por ahí. I think he's not there.
¿Cómo va Eduardo? How are you doing there? Es una sola oración. Uh, well, es una descripción, pero oraciones okay. las puede dividir en pedacitos. Mm, ok. Ok, so, so what do you have first? Oh, ¿a, quién, ¿A quién escogió? Who did you select? Um, Acá primo. en la parte de abajo, ok. Primo so, en la parte de abajo les escribí something like, um, let me talk about, so sobre quiénes van a hablar, right? So let me talk about. Primo cousin. es cousin. Mm -hmm. Cousin es primo, ¿verdad? Yep. Yo tengo que poner, let me tell about cousin. Let me talk about. Y después pongo his eh, friendly o shy. Exactamente. O... Intenta describírmelo sin, sin escribirlo. Try to describe the person. His uh, friendly. Uh, ¿Le gusta practicar? ¿Cómo es? Ok, usted sabe decirle, gusta, ¿cómo digo, cómo digo gustar? ¿Cómo me gusta algo? You like. Ok, pero no sería yo porque está hablando de él, ¿sería? Sí. Exacto. She, she likes. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, practice, play soccer. Ok. Continue, uh, and, continue. And, and drink coffee. And watch TV. Okay. Uh, it's funny, funny. Sí, pero de, dígame la siguiente, siempre en oraciones completas. Like, he is. He is mm -hmm. uh, funny. Okay. And, and sizable. Okay. Okay, what else? Give me more, give me more ideas, give me more. Uh, he's uh, Is he a good person? Okay, he's loyal. Mm -hmm. He's loyal. Okay. And, and she is a uh, light to music. Okay. And honest. Okay. Siempre agregamos le he is, right? No importa las veces que repita. He mm, is. No. En español eliminamos el he is, but. En inglés es importante. Uh -huh. No importa las veces que yo lo diga. Uh -huh. No, porque necesitamos especificar de quién está hablando. So, eh, va a escuchar mucho el ay, ay, ay. No es porque yo soy el centro del mundo, right? sino porque inglés uh -huh. requiere que usted sí lo mencione. O si no quiere repetir he, puede decir. So, let me talk about my cousin. Y me dice el nombre y alterna he con el nombre de la persona um, para evitarlo, right? Ah, por ejemplo, eh, ¿qué? Armando, she likes he. practice he. Ajá, es que creo que me dijo she, so just be careful with that. Uh -huh. <laughs> But, pero sí, exacto, so Armando likes or he likes, cualquiera de las dos. Sí. That is the one. Okay. Okay. So, Eduardo, intenta agregar más. Try to add more details, but that was good. That was actually very nice. Solo intenta agregar más información. Try to add more information. Okay. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome.
Already, guys. So thank you so much for uh, joining. Let's just wait for the rest to come over here as well. And guys, ¿cómo estuvo su práctica? How was it? Ya recordaron un poquito like he, she, cómo organizar las ideas, how to put them together. Más o menos, a little bit. So, so. So, so. <coughs> Creo que me falta alguien. Oh, me voy a enseñar. Creo que algunos tienen problemas de internet y están viniendo. Ah, sí, qué raro. Ok. Ok, guys, but a really nice um, practice. Let's go ahead. Let me listen to a couple of you guys. Um, let me just have first. Eh, Tengo algún voluntario? Do I have any volunteer? No volunteers. Ok, big news. I want to participate. Ah, ok, perfect, perfect. So, Luis, let's go for you. Let's okay, go ahead, please. Eh, Yo ya estaba lista con las víctimas. No, no, no. Entonces, okay, no, me quedo al final. No, no, no perfect, perfect. You go first y usted selecciona el siguiente. So it is, ah, the power ah, is your hands. Okay. Let me talk about my daughter. Uh, yeah, she, is, uh, she is my little princess. Uh, her name is Montserrat. Uh, she ha, uh, she is... Uh, uh, eight years old. Okay. And um, she's a friendly girl. Okay. And uh, she's very clever. Uh, she's always polite. And uh, she's too funny. I love her. That's yeah. a really nice description. All right. I'm sorry. I think I miss uh, how old is she? I don't understand. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I think I miss uh, her age. How old is Montserrat? Uh, she, she, uh, she how? You can uh, say she is. She is, uh, ah, okay. ¿Cómo se dice? Para la edad. Uh -huh. She is. Ah, okay. She no, no, is no, but, but, but I'm sorry. I think I miss her age. No sé si no logré eight. escuchar la edad. Eight. Eight. Oh, she's eight years old. All right. Eight years okay. old. Thank uh -huh. you. Yeah, I think I'm sorry. I missed it. All right. Very nice. That's a really nice description. So, Luis, <laughs> just select next person. Who is okay. your first victim? Uh, the next victim uh, is the number seven. Oh my uh, one, Wait. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jorge Alberto Lopez. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. So, Jorge, where are you? Hi, teacher. Hi there. Good evening. How you doing? Fine, teacher. Glad to hear you. So, Jorge, you have been. Yeah. Um, you are the chosen one, <laughs> so you are the first victim, um, and the idea is to talk about a family member, so who is the person you selected? Okay, let me talk about Matthew. Matthew? Yeah, uh, he's a 12-year-old, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and he is a honest boy and friendly. He's a study uh, 70 grade in public school. And he likes listen music pop. I like Mexican food. <laughs> oh, okay. And I'm sorry, Jorge. Uh, who is Matthew? Who is? Uh huh, sir. Who is Matthew? Is he your boy? Is he your son? Boy. He's a boy. But is he your son? Your nephew? Yes, boy, teacher. So your son? Yeah, he's boy. 
Okay, okay. So, es su hijo. He is your son. Uh, Matthew, uh, sobrino. Es mi sobrino. Ah, your nephew. Uh, Matthew. Okay, okay. So, yeah, I, was, I, I, I missed that part. Okay. So, he's your nephew. All right. Very nice description. And the, my nephew is 14 years old. So, they are like in, in similar ages. Thank you, Jorge. Jorge, okay. who is your victim? Yes, and the next victim is um, Stella Abigail Sarabia. Sorry. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so Abigail, hi. Ella está trabajando. Is she working? Oh, yeah, de repente I was like, wait, Naya que se no la he escuchado. I haven't heard her. Okay. Okay, thank you. So that was so bad, George, but but thank you so much. That was a really nice update. Uh, so Jorge, give me a number, please. From one to five. Okay, sir. So Mara que me dijo cinco. I will take the SA5. So I'm going to like count from the bottom up. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so Javier, uh, on my list, you appear as number five. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. I, I am the victim. Abigail, me one, two, three, four, five. And, uh, okay, so se me están moviendo. Okay, but Javier, so please be my last victim for this activity and tell us about a family member, please. Okay. Uh, let me tell about my brother. Okay. Uh, his name is William. Okay. Uh, he is 41 years old okay. and he lives in Mexico mm -hmm. and is friendly and sometimes is impatient mm -hmm. and she likes, she likes to play the guitar and, okay. and and like to play basketball. Okay. Okay. That's it? Finish. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, that's a really good one. Uh, actually, muy buen uso de terceras personas. Very good job of the third person. Sounds all right. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I'm still, me faltan muchos, but in the next activities, Hopefully, puedan, podamos escucharlos también. We can listen to you. All right, guys. So talking about this personality thingy one more time. Tenemos un par de expresiones here. We have a couple of prompts. And uh, we have these uh, three statements. Donde vamos a hablar un poquito de... Um, well, vamos a intentar dar una explicación, right? ¿Qué tipo de personas eh, nos parecen agradables? Or tenemos dificultades, you know, um, dealing with them. For example, the first prompt says, um, well, first, let's take a look at the picture. Uh, the first one, the man, um, what feeling or what personality, what word comes to your mind uh, when you see this picture? El primero. Happy. Happy. Yes. Happy. ¿Qué más? Smile. Funny. 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 Friendly. Happy. Friendly. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the woman? What about the second picture? The one in the middle? Uh, she going to the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to go to the restroom. Yes. 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 Nervous. 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 Uh -huh. Guys, cuando estamos nerviosos, right? Que queremos ir al baño. That happens. So she maybe see. she is nervous. She is sick. Okay. 
What else? ¿Qué más se les ocurre? What else comes to your mind? Shy. Shy. Very good. Maybe she is a shy person. What about this boy on the corner? What comes to your mind? What do you think about him? Manzanas y mango. Marañones. This one. Innovator. <laughs> ah, okay. Yes, that can be. Maybe he's like, he's with the phone, right? Maybe with a nap. So it's he polite. can be like an innovative, polite, or impolite. Polite and rude. Rude. Oh. No, just the barber shop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're terrible, guys. Okay, so th that can definitely be. What about this uh, blonde woman? Angry. Uh, okay. Darian. About temperament. Okay. I'm nodding. Ah, okay. Maybe she can be annoying too? Yes. Yeah, why not, right? Okay. She's toxic, right? She's rude. <laughs> okay, so she's a rude person. And this man in the middle? Hi, teacher. Hi, Miss. How you doing? I, I had a question. Yes. If I want to know if I want to say, uh, una persona es blanca, eh, de piel trigueña o oscura, ¿cómo se dice? Um, there are some words we can use and some words we will avoid using. Um, so first, you can definitely use white skin without a problem. So um, we can use, but in El Salvador, we don't have white skin. However, I may say that she is kind of a brunette. No, she has white skin. We have also fair skin tone, so white. We have fair. Some people use the word brunette, right? But uh, I just prefer like brown or a different tone. So we have dark skin. And if you look at this man, there is a very specific color that you can use. And it's not a color, but we can say African American person. Oy, no, I'm writing African. So. You can say um, there is a, what about the African American person, right? Um, to avoid discrimination, uh, I have heard people say black, uh, and it's okay, it's acceptable as long as you don't say the N word or the um, the other term that you may know <laughs> that I cannot say here. I cannot say it here. So we have white skin. In El Salvador, I can say that we have kind of a fair skin tone. Somos casi todos trigueños, right? Uh, we are, we don't really have dark skin. Um, and then we have, hay otras expresiones que los van a ver más adelante. Uh, for example, you have los chinos, los países asiáticos, tienen un tono más amarillento, es un olive skin. And los americanos, uh, si han escuchado las movie series, les llaman eh, Caucasian, right? So you have other tones as well. Eh, si quieren investigar más, guys, los invito a que también puedan revisar la parte de completion en skin tone. And uh, hay muchos tonos, but in general, we can use this ones. Yes, FYI. <coughs> Yeah, but normally brunette mm -hmm. is la combinación de piel y cabello. Um, mm -hmm. For example, this woman no es dark, es, todavía no llega um, a muy oscura, right? So todavía se puede considerar brunette porque el cabello es castaño y la piel es un poquito oscura, pero es la combinación. Mm -hmm. Normally brunette, les soy bien honesta, casi no lo he escuchado. I haven't heard it. Uh, pero déjenme investigar si todavía es un término que se usa. Lo que pasa es que ahora por cuestiones de no discriminación, you know, no, eh, más que todo por el hecho de racial things, hay muchos términos que han ido cambiando. But let me investigate. Pero Brunette, I haven't heard it. Let me, let me double check. Mm -hmm. 
So we were in this part with the man. Guys, how would you describe the personality of this boy in the middle? Modest. Really? Modest. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Her, her mouth is low. I was going to say the opposite. I was going to say arrogant, <laughs> but okay. okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Maybe Ponemos atención, pita. Oh, okay, so modest. What else? ¿Qué más se les ocurre, guys? What else comes to your mind? Aesthetic. Aesthetic, aesthetic person. Interesting. So first, porque esa expresión I have to be super honest. No entiendo qué es el término aesthetic. <laughs> what, what is aesthetic for you? Yesterday estaba viendo un TikTok de hecho about aesthetic people, and I don't understand. Uh, do you have more more information que nos pueda compartir? Estérico. Porque lo veo como que está gritando. Oh, oh, got it, got it. Okay. So, like a historical person. Oh, okay. Y le escuché uh, estérico. Clever. <laughs> ah, okay. So, maybe he's a clever person, like smart. All right. And the last one, guys. Let's go with the grandma. What can you say about the, the granny, the old woman? What comes to your mind? Is she rude? Creen que es, que es like super impolite? Is she rude? The grandma? No. no. ¿Cómo la describirían? How would you describe her? Temerosa no, no aplica. Can you repeat it, please? Como temerosa. Um, confused, confused, okay, so confused, ah, sí. confused. yes, confused. Oh, absent mind, okay. She's thinking about, about the about the TikToks around today. <laughs> okay, so he's she's thinking, all right, so that can work. I can be hope for a despista. So in English, we use the word. Absent-minded for that. Alguien que es super despistado. Mm -hmm. Okay. So guys, here we have the prompts and it says, I like someone who is, because, vamos a intentar dar una breve explicación, right? Eh, de qué tipo de personalidad me agrada y por qué. The second says, I enjoy being around people. Me gusta estar alrededor, me gusta estar cerca de personas con esta personalidad because, Y la última, I can't stand. I can't stand is like, I hate. No soporto, no aguanto, me molesta, right? Me es incómodo. I can't stand people who are because. So intentemos dar una explicación también, right? Let me give you an example. So I like someone who is, and voy a utilizar la palabra lively. Oh, recuerdo haberse las mencionado el día de ayer. So lively, son personas eh, muy activas, right? Y que siempre están prestas. If you tell them, hey, let's go to the park. They are like, yes, of course. Let's go to the movie. Yes, let's go. So lively people son personas que siempre andan como super activas, right? So I like someone who is lively because uh, I can use because she is uh, happy, I don't know, to go with me. Um, to different places. So, okay, and that's it. So this is like my brief explanation. What about you guys? ¿Qué tipo de personas les agrada? What kind of people do you like? I enjoy being around people who are, ah, puedo escribir ambitious. Me gusta estar con personas ambiciosas. I like to be around with people ambitious because I can learn from them. So I can learn from their experiences. I can learn 
their ideas, how to make money, <laughs> and etc. I can't stand, no soporto. I can't stand people who are because. So, ¿qué tipo de persona me es incómodo? I can't stand mm, people who are, oh my God, this is difficult. People who are, oh, ¿se recuerdan cómo decir de mente cerrada que casi no se puede hablar con ellos? Close me. Close me. Very good. So, close minded. So, I can't stand people who are close minded because they have too many tabs. They have too many tabs. Maybe not just tabs, but um, you cannot talk to them. Uh, they um, are not open to listen to people. So what about you guys? So let's try to complete it. I'll give you like three minutes para que piense rapidito why, right? And what kind of people? Y luego eh, compartimos ideas. So, tres minutos. You have three, four minutes. Preguntas sobre qué quiere decir o qué vamos a hacer acá? Do you have any question? Teacher, I like one uh, with like. Yes. Okay, I like some, someone who is honest because, mm -hmm. because she or he always say the truth. Very nice. I like it. Okay. Uh, solo le cambiaría una palabrita. En vez de say, quizás usaríamos tell en este caso, porque son como con decir las verdades, right? Very nice. One question. Um, are you, okay. Well, are you okay with white lies or your friends are super honest with you? I love the people who tell the truth and be mm -hmm. honest. It doesn't matter if it's bad or a good thing. Oh, about interesting. Me. Okay. Okay. I like it. Sounds really nice. And it's good to have friends like that. All right. Guys, do you have more examples for us? It is not necessary uh, to write all the sentences, right? You can just try to uh, make the sentences in your mind and try to say them out loud. So guys, what kind of people do you like? So uh, Deborah likes honest people, which is really good. I like lively people. What about you guys? Um, so, Carla, what kind of people do you like? Let me see who are here. Okay, guys, I'll give you one minute so you can finish writing your sentences.
Miss, uh, I have a question. Yes, tell me. Uh, uh, how, uh, how to say? How to say? ¿Cómo se dice alguien que es placente? O sea, eh, eh, es algo que me genera placer, algo que sea placentero. La palabra es placentero. ¿cómo? Si es de satisfacción, sería eh, satisfying. Perdón. Si es de satisfacción, like algo que me hace sentir satisfecho, you know, or something that you say, oh, ya lo hice. Eh, so, um, satis. Por, por ejemplo, uh, uh, I like someone who is polite mm -hmm. because uh, the time with there is more. Ta, 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 ta. No, no, podemos usar entonces eh, pleasant. I, I'm not sure if I get the word. Pleasant. So pleasant, pleasant is como agradable. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. because... So pleasant. Because oh. the time with them is more pleasant. Uh -huh. Or okay. it's... Yeah, mm -hmm. porque no sería satisfactorio. No, pleasant. Mm, yeah, sounds more like pleasant. Suena más como agradable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Satisfactorio. Pleasant. Pleasant. Okay. Pleasant. Mm, okay, so satisfying or agradable. Okay. Uh -huh, agreeable. Well, you can use also satisfying, satisfying. Sí se puede usar satisfying, pero más en el sentido de satisfactorio. Pero si es como el tiempo con ellos es agradable, you know, or la pasó bien, sí sería pleasant. Um, uh -huh. Let me see. Uh -huh. Yeah, that would be it. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. Teacher, over, yes, over me. I enjoy being around people who are clever because mm. I I can improve my knowledge. Oh, very nice. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. So you're into clever people. The sentence actually it's really nice. Guys, are you ready with the first? I like someone who? Me, teacher. Uh, yes, Manuel, go ahead, please. And I like someone who is friendly uh, because they are uh, very nice. Um, okay, I, I'm sorry, can you say that again? I like people who? Or I like someone who is? I like someone. Who is uh, friendly? Oh, okay. And because they are very nice. Okay, okay. Um, I enjoy being around people who are uh, respectful mm -hmm. because uh, that that how how I am. Oh, okay. So you are a respectful person and you like respect people who are respectful too. Okay. Yes, I am and the last, respectful. Okay. And the last one, I can't stand. I can't stand people who are uh, angry. Okay. Because uh, if I, I am the opposite. Oh, okay. So you're not angry. You're not an angry person. No, I am you're, friendly. You're not hot headed? No se enoja rápido? No. What? Okay, okay. Interesting. 
so you don't like angry people. Okay, thank you so much, Manuel. That's a really nice one. Guys, yeah. who is ready? Just look at that. Go ahead, please. Is, uh, who is Stan? I can't stand. La última, the last one. Yeah. I can't stand is no soporto, no tolero. Oh, no so I can't stand people who are no, 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 no me agrada, right? Mm -hmm. So I can't stand. Oh, pensé que ya no tenía los ejemplos, Lupita, pero igual, está bien. Tengo <laughs> Say dos. what you have. No, teacher. Tengo dos nada más. No, no importa, no hay problema. Go ahead. Okay. Y luego escuchamos, creo que. Escuché la voz de Carla, too. Ok. So, Lupita, ah, let's go puede, with you. Ya, yeah, casi. Pero, ¿cómo se puede poner? Porque, ay, ¿cómo se puede? Porque me impaciento. Because I, I am impatient. No. Eh, porque usted no es que sea impaciente, sino que no, hay no, una no. situación. Estoy terminando, la, estoy terminando la cosa. Ok. Y me puse. I can understand people who are slow. Okay. Porque yo me paciento. Okay. Um, podemos decir, because I lose my pull, que sería una forma de decirlo, right? Because I lose my patience, sería otra, yo pierdo la paciencia, right? Oh. Or podemos decir, because I get upset. No es lo mismo, pero se parece bastante. I get upset es como porque me, yo, porque me molesta, right? Uh, me molesta que la gente vaya muy lento caminando. <laughs> so, I lose my patience or I get upset. Eh, tengo, I like someone who is generous. Okay. Eh, because can help all others people. Oh, very nice. Okay. Eh, I enjoy enjoy being around people mm -hmm. who is who are funny mm -hmm. okay. because they had good babies oh very nice okay and i think we heard the last one right i can stand people who are very slow <laughs> okay so finish your sentence and then we come back uh, to you no problem um i think carla was ready so carla we are ready for you yes teacher uh I like some we I we is intelligent okay. because and they are personalized. Okay, very good. Solo vamos a cambiar el orden. El adjetivo siempre va antes because they are nice people nice or people. nice person. Oh. Siempre el adjetivo okay. va antes. Okay, thank you, teacher. In the Number second, two, I enjoy. I enjoy. They are our own people we who are, are we are uh, friendly because okay. in our person he aren't happy in person or oh, ah, very nice because uh -huh, sir, so are uh -huh, number, okay number three I can stand, stand people I, who I are. can stand people we are untidy. untidy. Oh, okay, uh, because? Because I don't like the, the mess. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> That's a really nice one. Okay, very good, actually, very good. So, Carla, solo lea conmigo este pedacito, please. Este es jugar. Who? Jugar. Are. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Are. I like it. I Let like your, your sentences. Your examples are really nice. Thank you, Eduardo. Okay, guys. So, um, and any other person? Tenemos alguien más or we are good? Los demás están, uh, are very shy today. Okay, guys. So, si alguien más tiene, yes? Hola, hola. I like someone who is honest because he is a person who can be trusted. Oh, very good. I like mm -hmm. it. Okay. And the I, second, I enjoy being I around. I enjoy being around who are funny people okay. because we 
spend your don't feel time? Because you don't feel the time. Mm -hmm, yes. Ah, okay. Uh, I can spend um, impaciente, teacher, la pronunciación. Uh, in, si es impaciente, impatient. Mm -hmm. Impatient people. Become... I can stand impatient people. Okay. Because. But I don't go away. Nada sale bien. Así si lo quieren rápido. I can stand impatient people because. Because. But things don't go away. Oh, got it, got it. Okay. Got it. And you know what, Suleyma? I am very impatient. <laughs> got it. I can't stand impatient people because nothing goes well. Okay, okay. Those are really nice ones. Good. Okay, guys. Cool. Thank you for sharing your examples. Si tienen más, siempre, guys, pueden utilizar el chat para compartirlos. In case no se sientan cómodos activando yes. Excuse me, can you repeat the sentence or, or the the meaning of que nada sale bien in English? Um, I think she said like I can't stand impatient people because nothing goes well. Goes. Mm -hmm. Nothing goes. That is right. Or you can say nothing goes right. Mm -hmm. Those are really nice examples. You're so welcome. Okay, guys. Um, questions, doubts? Okay, I'm going to take that as a no. Okay, guys, now let's do the following. Um, listening is a little complicated uh, to practice in here because, you know, uh, because of copyrights, we are not allowed to play uh, videos from other resources. So what we are going to do is the following. Uh, we are going to try first. This is a test number one. <laughs> we are going to try. We are going to check if it is possible to work listening like on our own and that we can incorporate it in classes. Listening is super important because um, la única forma de hablar es primero escuchar. So, primero escucho, escucho vocabulario, escucho pronunciación, escucho everything, y luego utilizo lo que escuché para poder yo crear mis ideas. And muchas veces decimos, no tengo vocabulario, pero el detalle es que a veces no escuchamos de alguien más, no escuchamos canciones, or stories or algo, you know, and y eso es porque, y de tal manera que cuando intentamos decir algo, con, uh, share ideas, sentimos, eh, tenemos ese feeling, right, que me falta más vocabulario. But vamos a intentar compensarlo um, with a little bit of listening. Primero, este es como el primer intento para ver si nos funciona de esta forma o encontrar otros recursos que nos pueden ayudar a practicar listening here as well. So les comento qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Les voy a compartir un, um, an exercise. I'm going to share an exercise here. Denme un segundo, se los voy a pasar en WhatsApp. I'm going to send it. And uh, les voy a publicar, uh, or I'm going to display eh, las preguntas here. Les voy a mostrar qué es lo que vamos a hacer eh, en mi pantalla. Mientras ustedes están escuchando el exercise on your own. So, de esa manera, ustedes pueden ponerlo una, dos, tres, cuatro veces, a lot of times more, and, y van con su propio ritmo, right? En vez que yo lo esté controlando. Si nos funciona de esta forma, vamos a incorporar muchos más para las clases futuras, right? Um, and if it doesn't work por cualquier otra situación, vemos de qué otra forma we can use uh, listening. Deme un segundo. It's going to take a little time here. Mm, una pregunta, guys. Eh, ¿Quiénes están en el teléfono conectados? Are you in your phone right now? No. Yo, Yo estoy en el teléfono, teacher. 
Yo y les reproduce, sí. cuando están en el teléfono, les reproduce audios. Like, alguien le manda un audio, lo puede escuchar. Yo no, Tich. Es que no sí. bueno, Veamos si nos funciona, guys. Let's see if it works. Um, do, he intentado antes and, y sí me ha funcionado, but veamos si eh, las aplicaciones this time works. Les voy a compartir acá a través de Zoom. Veamos si nos funciona here. Si no, denme un segundo, ya se los comparto in the WhatsApp group too. Para que lo tengamos y, y ustedes prueben which one works faster. Um, Puede que escuchen el acento a little different. Puede que el acento lo encuentre un poquito complicado. That may happen. No es American English, but it's British English. La diferencia es que es un poquito más pesado, right? Las palabras son más fuertes. In English, acostumbramos a decir water. In British, people say water, sister. Or es solo un poquito más fuerte el tono, but. Besides that, it's the same thing. So, um, me confirma si logran poner el audio. Let me know if you can listen to that, if you can hear it here in mi pantalla. Yes, miss. Okay, perfect, okay. perfect. So, me pueden escribir, guys. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, Lupita, for the confirmation. Deme un emoji or something. O si no les reproduce, igual let me know para ver de qué otra forma we can work it out. So here on my screen, it says, check your understanding and gut feel. Do this exercise while you listen. Complete the gas, uh, gaps with the correct word. Y tenemos un par de oraciones que están incompletas. So you have to listen to the idea, you have to listen to the conversation, e ir a intentar, um, you have to try to complete it, right? For example, number one says that. Mm, that's my gym. ¿Qué fue lo que le dijo? What is the word? So pueden escucharlo, lo, lo atrasan, lo adelantan, whatever works for you. Regálenme confirmación, guys. Eh, okay, thank you, Javier. Okay, thank you, Yvette. Okay, guys, voy a cerrar mi micrófono. I'm going to close my microphone. Les voy a dar cinco minutos to complete the exercise. Si alguien no lo abre, escríbame, please, eh, para poder ayudarle de alguna forma o ver cómo nos funciona para no afectar el, el audio de los demás, right? So, eh, I'm going to close everybody's microphones. And tenemos cinco minutos, guys. We have five minutes para complete, uh, to complete this exercise on my screen. There you go.
one more minute, guys. Okay, guys, so let's check together. Let's check what you have. Let's make some changes if it is necessary. So let's take a look super quick. Um, so first things first, guys, uh, how do you feel it? ¿Cómo sintieron el ejercicio? Was it too difficult? Está muy difícil de comprenderle el acento, la velocidad. Algunas, Give me your opinion. What do you think? Algunas palabras que no se las entendían. Algunas palabras. La okay. velocidad va bien. Y algunas. Pero, pero en general. Sí, se entendió. Sí, se entiende. Sí, se Solo okay. que hay unas palabras que no se las entendía, así como la pronunciación. Claro, claro. Pero, ok, del 1 al, al 10, like, ¿qué tanto comprendieron? How much okay. did you understand? Dos. No, come on. So, si me dice que solo fueron algunas eight. palabras. Ocho. Okay, seven, eight. Okay. okay. No, está bien entonces. We are good. Okay. So, let's take a look. Ahora sí, revisemos entonces las palabras that we have here. Probablemente alguna nos esté dando dolor de cabeza, right? Um, le voy a presentar luego el audio para que lo comparemos porque tenemos todavía un ejercicio que hacer con él. So, or let's take a look. Veamos que tiene, guys. A number one says that or that that's my brother. 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 Okay. Brother. I'm gonna write brother. it here. So my brother. Okay. Number two says, and that's his girlfriend, Lucy. The the Lucy. The pretty girl. Pretty girl. Ah, okay. So the pretty girl. Okay. So the pretty girl with the the long brown. Long brown. Ah, okay, long so brown long hair. brown hair. Okay. Alex and Jim are friends. Twins. Twins. Ah, they are twins. Okay. So twins, like they were born together. Alex and Jim are twins. They are both. 
Okay, so 15. Hmm? 15 years old. Very good. 15, 15 years old. Number four. They are exactly the same. They are both. Tall. Tall. Okay, so they are both tall and thin. Ah, thin. tall and thin. Okay, so they are both tall and thin. They, they have got. What do they have? Talk. They talk about the hair. Brown. Okay. I, brown. Short sure, brown. Let me write it down. So brown. Green A. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. El cabello me falta algo. So brown. Yeah. Creo que alguien brown. Dijo por ahí. Brown. Short. Short brown. Short okay. brown. Higher. Okay, so brown, short, vamos a escribirle una coma para separarlo y podemos ponerlo brown short or short brown, no hay problema. Mm -hmm. So brown, short haired, green, what is the color of the eyes? Green eyes. Green green eyes. eyes. Okay, so green, green, green eyes, green eyes. Green eyes. Mm -hmm. green and eyes. ears, small, big, what do they say about ears? Big ears. Big ears. Big ears. Okay, and big ears. Okay, they are not big. Okay. I think they, they are, are cute. 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 Okay. Cute. Cheese. All right. Cheese. How do you say Pretty. So pretty, cute. They are just fine. In number seven and the last guys. And has Al. Friend. I'm sorry. And has Alex Gara. Good friend. friend. No, only friends. Okay. And has yeah. Alex got a girlfriend? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, very nice. So I think we definitely got it. I mean, it's mucho más largo. It's longer than that. But I think we got very specific details. So that is good. Very good job, guys. Okay. Now, quick question. Les funcionó... ¿Consideran que les funcionó trabajarlo solos? Did it work? Yes. 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 Ok. Perfect, perfect. So, Más o menos. Why? Why, Miss? Dígame, ¿qué, ¿qué sucedió? What happened? I mean, sus comentarios son súper valorados here porque necesitamos ver qué nos funciona y qué no nos funciona, right? So, Why? Y así como en mi caso, teacher, yo siempre he tenido problemas con el oído. Ok. Al escuchar, ¿cómo se llama? No, no, no distingo, por decirle, el, 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 la, la, la entonación. Para, okay. Confundo las, las, las frases o las okay. palabras. Entonces, okay. pero es algo que a mí me cuesta ver. Claro, eso, bueno, es algo que a todos, Miss, a todos, es un, recuerden que es un proceso. Dicen, toma un poquito de tiempo. Y porque claro, al inicio, no, no estoy mucho a, así como, como, digamos, estamos en cierto nivel, pero estoy más baja, por decirle, porque sí me cuesta bastante. Pero no se preocupe, Miss, ya va a llegar por ahí, so, take your time, so, con perseverancia, con práctica, we make it. So, todos podemos definitivamente, eh, y es la idea, right, de irnos nivelando here. Um, pero um, my, my question era um, en referencia al hecho de, es mejor trabajarlo, que ustedes manipulen su propio audio, like ustedes lo atrasen, lo repitan, lo adelanten. You think it feels yes. better? Sí, sí. Mejor es que es que sí. Tiene ventaja y desventaja, mis. Claro, porque, porque una, a veces no es una palabra que no se pueden distinguir. A quienes no lo podemos eh, distinguir ciertas palabras, pero Ajá. otros compañeros sí lo podrían. Por ejemplo, hay unas palabras que uno no puede distinguir y otros compañeros sí lo pudieron. Ah, okay. Ahí donde bueno, se a, mí, a, mí el, a, mí lo, a mí en lo particular el tono de voz no mucho. Mm, yeah, remember that. No, estamos más acostumbrados a un inglés americano, but es lo importante, right? Escuchar diferentes acentos para que nuestro oído no solo se quede perdido cuando okay. escuchemos eh, a personas hablando de la India, you know, China, Korea, 
uh, especialmente ahora que en like, El Salvador hay muchas empresas coreanas, there are a lot of Korean Chinese companies um, and people from other countries, so uno nunca sabe, we never know, right? Uh, what kind of pronunciation we can hear. But I'm glad, pero me alegra mucho escuchar. I'm really glad uh, to hear that. Eh, vamos a intentar eh, for the following week, para la próxima semana, guys, vamos a hacer ejercicios de grabación. So, vamos a escuchar, vamos a leer y vamos a intentar grabarnos para que también ustedes escuchen su voz de inglés al español. Creo que le comentaba a alguien, no sé si alguna vez han escuchado hablando inglés, Uh, se van a asustar. You're going to get super scared porque la voz cambia. My, my, voice, my voice in Spanish uh, es bien, yo le siento que es bien fuerte, you know, que tengo una voz un poco ronca. But in English, when I change, mi voz suena bien. I don't know. I don't like my voice in English. I like my voice in Spanish bien ronca, you know. <laughs> but, but anyways, ya se van a escuchar and, and son dos voces. Your voice changes completely. So, Bien bonito um, escuchar uno en inglés. Ya se van a escuchar, guys. You're going to listen to yourself and you're going to say, oh my God, that's me. <laughs> Pero sí es importante también que se vayan grabando eh, para que se vayan escuchando, se vayan corrigiendo and vayamos haciendo cambios eh, si es necesario in grammar. Um, guys, quick question. ¿Pudieron completar la plataforma? ¿Alguien tuvo problemas con la plataforma? ¿Todos estamos listos para la revisión de plataforma? ¿Todos tienen acceso, right? ¿Everybody has access? Yes. Yo no, teacher. No. David, yo yes. Yo no, no tiene acceso, teacher. Pero si tengan, tienen acceso, right? Do you have access? No, si quieren me mandar el link al... Uh, well, eh, estuvo con nosotros en los módulos anteriores, David. Sí. Oh, el acceso es el mismo. Ingresa con el mismo correo, la misma contraseña: 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No la hemos cambiado. Si usted no la ha ah, cambiado okay. tampoco. Uh -huh. ah, Porque yo, ayer fue la primera clase, no pude estar la semana yo, pasada. Sí, yo recuerdo que no. Uh, I haven't heard you. Y por acá ya leí qué pasó. Eh. Pero me alegra que ya esté con nosotros. I'm really glad. Okay. Yo, you are with us. Eh, guys, solamente sí pedirles el apoyo con la plataforma. El día de mañana me piden eh, mandar el, la actualización de las notas. So, please, para no afectarlos, eh, para que no nos vayamos quedando con un, eh, con un score más bajo, please, intentemos completarla. Solo son cinco ejercicios. Well, no, es la unidad una y dos, right? You're the same. Son mm -hmm. las mismas unidades, one and two, para que vayamos avanzando a little bit. Um, si necesitan ayuda siempre se pueden colaborar, si hay algo que ya intentaron todo y no les esté funcionando, tómenle captura, déjenlo en el grupo, díganme qué es lo que les pasó y con gusto lo revisamos. A veces es por un punto, por una coma, por un espacio, you know, and, y nos estamos dando duro ahí, right? So please try to complete and work in your platform too. Uh, guys, antes de irse solo me regalan confirmación verbal que están acá. So, if you can help me with your um, camera and the present thing, that would be really nice. Um, Eric, no, está acá. No he visto a Eric ahora. Abigail, Abigail se estaba there. Griselda, hi Griselda. Me alegra que ya pudo estar con nosotros. Isaías. Listen. Thank you. Isaías no lo ha escuchado. Haven't heard you. <laughs> Mañana lo entrevisto, Isaías. I'm missing you. Uh, Yvette? Listen, teacher. Gracias, Miss. Uh, y gracias por el audio. Thank you for the audio, too. Uh, okay. uh, Javier? Present, teacher. Thank you. Eduardo? Present, teacher. Thank you. Jorge? Present, teacher. Thank you, Carla. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis, Luis Cruz is acá. Present teacher. Hi, hi, Mr. Cruz. No lo había escuchado, but I'm glad you're here. Uh, Mr. Castaneda. 
Uh, I'm here, Miss. Thank you so much, uh, Vanessa. Vanessa, si le escuché por ahí. Present. Thank you. Wendy. I don't think I still heard it. Uh, Suleyma. Present. Present. Suleyma, si le escuché. I heard it. And Camilo lo mencioné. No, ahorita, Miss. Present. Ahorita. Thank you. So I have David too. Deborah. Thank you, and Lupita. Here, Miss. Thank you, and Edwin. But I think I have an Edwin. Okay, guys, so Miss. thank you so much. No lo mencioné. Permítame, Manuel, que ya lo anoté. Pero I think I just noted it down. Give me one second. Manuel Antonio, sí, ya lo, ya lo había notado. Quizás en mi mente I was, I was passing attendance too, but I got you. All right. Thank you guys. Gracias a todos por la attendance. Gracias por la participación. No se les olvide la plataforma, please. And let's work a little bit with that. Eh, Grisaldo, se me regaló un par de minutitos. Le voy a robar para el one on one. And you are dismissed. Bye, guys. Sleep well. See you tomorrow. Bye. Have a good Bye, night. People. Bye. 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 Night. Uh, good night. Hi, Miss. Um, le voy a robar un par de minutitos para nuestra sesión de 101. ¿Qué tal, Miss? ¿Cómo está? How are you? Um, I'm fine. Teacher. Pero no está trabajando ahorita. You're not working. No, 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 teacher. Ah, okay. Great. Glad to hear that. So, Miss, eh, gracias. Primero, gracias por el tiempo. Eh, gracias por unirse y por quedarse en 101. Eh, creo que es, es bien importante conocerlos, especialmente en estos momentos, like we are, que estamos iniciando, saber también las necesidades que, que tiene, right? Cómo lo podemos, los podemos apoyar y cómo podemos hacer que su proceso de aprendizaje sea más efectivo, más rápido and, uh, y que vayamos, you know, de la mano y mejorando every single day. Um, agradecerle primero por la tienda, siempre la veo conectada, aunque a veces me imagino que está trabajando o algo, eh, pero le agradezco que nos participe y you know, que esté súper activa acá. Um, first, Miss, ¿cómo se siente? How do you feel? Um, venía con este grupo antes, se acaba de incorporar. Um, ¿Cómo ha sentido estos días? ¿Siente que le, hay algo que le pueda colaborar? Eh, no, eh, algunos de los compañeros sí, ¿verdad? Eh, ya estuvieron conmigo en los módulos anteriores. Okay. Eh, empezamos para, para principiantes, ¿verdad? Desde el lo que sí me, Ajá, lo que sí okay. me cuesta un poquito es la pronunciación, teacher, no sé. Siento okay. que tengo, ajá, que eso me cuesta. Ok. Pronunciation. ¿Gramática listening no le cuesta? Eh, sí, pero siento que la pronunciación sí batalla un poquito más. Ok, vamos a hacer un ejercicio hecho. Es el, el ejercicio que les comenté. Um, que vamos a comenzar en un momento. Entonces, ok. Sorry, sorry. Ok, hay un ejercicio que es muy bueno. El detalle con la pronunciación o la razón por la que por lo general nos cuesta es porque no, eh, no tenemos dónde escucharlo. Entonces, como no tenemos una referencia de cuál es la pronunciación de la palabra, eh, sentimos un poquito complicado, right? Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es precisamente eso. Eh, vamos a tener, vamos a encontrar la forma de tener un referente para que sea más fácil. ¿Escucha música, Miss? ¿Escucha música en inglés? Sí, sí, de vez en cuando. ¿Videos? Sí. Ok. Mm, so, solamente mi recomendación, se escucha videos, no escuche videos de gramática. 
escuche videos de lo que usted quiera, whatever you want, menos de gramática. <ríe> Porque el video de gramática solo le, exp le explica eso, gramática, pero no hay un vocabulario más. Que a usted le guste el anime, escuche anime mejor en inglés. So, listen to anime in English. Si le gusta una serie, aunque no la entienda 100%, pero si sabe de qué se trata ese pedacito, escuche como los clips. A veces de las series aparecen los dos minutos de clips. Escúchelo, escuche una 20 veces, 30 veces, you know, and, uh, porque es contenido real. O si usted es abogada, right Sí, sí. Ponga alguna serie, ponga algo, pero relacionado con, quizás con su área, algo que a usted le guste, para que uh -huh. sea más fácil. Eh, no videos de grammar, porque eso... Eh, es bueno, pero no nos dan vocabulario. Permítame que lo encuentre. Listo. Where are you? Um, okay. Uh, I think I got it. Oh my God. I thought I had it. I don't know what's going on. I had it Okay. No, oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So, uh, le voy a compartir un ejercicio. I'm going to share this with you. Es una historia. This is a, a story. So, le voy a compartir acá. Eh, o si gusta, escríbame en WhatsApp y yo con gusto se lo comparto. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer con este ejercicio? Eh, si usted abre la página, le va a aparecer un audio. Pero al igual que el audio, hay también una descripción. Uh -huh. Está como lo que ellos van leyendo, lo escucha y lo va leyendo. Entonces, Utilizamos una gran cantidad de cosas ahí porque tenemos vocabulario, tenemos listening y tenemos pronunciación. Entonces lo que vamos a hacer es esto. Le voy a compartir acá en la pantalla más o menos el primer párrafo cómo va y qué es lo que hacemos. Esta eh, técnica se llama shadowing. Lo que hacemos es lo escuchamos. Puede escucharlo toda la semana, el mismo, cuando se esté bañando, uh -huh. cuando se duerma, hasta que se aburra de él. Entonces, Ajá. al escucharlo, después usted intenta empezar a, a repetirlo. Exactamente Ajá. igual, que le salga lo más parecido a lo que está. Entonces, no lo lea así, sino que yo siempre recomiendo eh, escribir la pronunciación que está, usted escucha. Por ejemplo, la palabra, Ajá. esta palabra nunca se pronuncia así como se escribe, sino que suena time. Entonces, siempre Ajá. escríbale por ahí como usted lo oye, vaya si lo quiere imprimir, imprímalo y le escribe sobre cada palabra como se escucha, o en el computer, o donde sea. Entonces, uh, lo que vamos a hacer es eso. Le voy a leer el primer pedazo y usted intenta repetirlo lo más cercano a como yo lo pronuncio. So, la primera <laughs> línea dice, It was time for a haircut. It was time for a haircut. Ok, una vez más. It was time for a haircut. It was time for a haircut. Ok, una vez más. It was time for a haircut. Siento muy rápido, teacher. Mm, dígalo a su ritmo. Dígalo su okay. um, a su ritmo. It was time for it a haircut. Was, it was time for a haircut. Mm -hmm. Haircut. Haircut. Her, eh, como cat, cat, haircut. Oh, haircut, haircut. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh -huh. it was time for a haircut. It was time for a haircut. Hair, the color, right? Haircut. Uh -huh. Haircut. Haircut. Okay. Very good. Vamos con la siguiente oración. Lenny didn't even have to look in the mirror. Lenny didn't even, even, even have to even look in the mirror. Lenny 
Mirror. Mirror. Okay. Lenny didn't even have to look in the mirror. Okay. Lenny didn't even. Lenny didn't even. Uh-huh. Have okay. to look in the mirror. Okay. Una vez más desde el inicio. It was time for a haircut. It was time for a haircut. Lenny didn't even have to look in the mirror. Lenny did even have to look in the mirror. Very nice. Exactly. So, esto ha sido un minuto. <laughs> so, imagínese lo que se puede lograr. So, imagine what you can do eh, dedicándole cinco minutos. So, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, but siempre cuando escucho palabras nuevas, vocabulario nuevo, vaya escribiéndole a la par, encima, con otro color, you know, como usted lo escucha para que sea más fácil. Por ejemplo, eh, tenemos esta otra palabra que así, que es even. Entonces, yo lo tomo, yo lo escribo y después si necesito regresar, ah, esta es even. Entonces me recuerdo, right? Me ayuda con la memoria también. Y no me tengo que ir al diccionario, perder tiempo en check it out. So, um, es, guarde por ahí este link del ejercicio. Es una historia bastante larga. No, no es larga. Se ve larga, pero en realidad la historia tiene un minuto con 14. One minute and 14 seconds. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Ahora es marco. Para el próximo lunes, for Monday, o para el próximo fin de semana, que usted ya esté libre, que tenga un par de minutos, y uh -huh. quiero que me mande el audio. So, practícala toda la semana, o escúchala, no es necesario que la repita todos los días. Puede ir párrafo por párrafo, escúchela, repítala, you know. Y para el lunes, eh, ya me mande el audio. So, el audio no le va a salir más de dos minutos. So, no se va a tomar más de dos minutos grabándose. Um, so, se escucha, repite. Si no le gustó cómo sonó, vuelve a hacer otra vez. La idea es eso, practicar listening, porque lo va a escuchar. Vocabulario, puede buscar las palabras nuevas, crear su más vocabulario. Y por supuesto, pronunciación, right? We can uh, work with pronunciation. Si, si lo quieren... No puedo, no, no puedo copiar el link, tal vez me lo manda al chat. Escríbame, porfa, porque no sé cómo parece, no los tengo guardados, I don't have you. Eh, escríbame como un hi, yo soy, no sé cómo aparezco, voy, voy, doy, voy. yo mandé el audio, entonces ahí escríbame como hi, it's me, you know, hello, <laughs> or, or something, uh -huh. and, and, y yo se lo mando, no problem. So, para que lo practique toda la semana, lo ponga por ahí, you know, se va en el carro, póngalo, póngalo, hasta que se aburra, y ya el lunes ya lo mando, all right? Ahí está bien. Perfect, gracias, Miss, por el tiempo, disculpe que ya me le robé más, eh, y mándame un mensajito, yo se lo envío. Bueno, so, gracias. Thank you, have a good night. Bye. See you, Miss. Bye. Bye-bye.